Alright, so in this video, I will be planting this corn that I've been growing. I don't even know how long it's been in this cup, honestly, but they're quite large and it's time to go ahead and get them planted. I'm going to be planting five corn plants in this container. This container is a 20 gallon grow bag. It is quite large. I did make my own potting mix and I will post that video in the description if you're interested in making your own potting mix and saving some money. Go check that video out. Also this grow bag, I bought it off Amazon. I will have the link in the description if you want this grow bag. And yeah, so let's talk about this soil. I made this soil. I've already put two handfuls of fertilizer and mixed it in. And this is the fertilizer I use, Dr. Earth's fertilizer. So I've already mixed that in well. And I am gonna go ahead and add in some worm castings. And this brand is by Earth Science. And worm castings are great for container plants. I would recommend putting worm castings in all of your container plants because container plants don't have any life in them, like any worms, any bugs, or anything like that. So you wanna go ahead and add something that's gonna give your soil some type of nutrients and stuff like that to break down into the soil. So that's what we're gonna do is add some worm castings right on the top. Add one more handful because corn are heavy feeders. They like a lot of nutrients. They're a large plant. And I'm gonna mix that along the top, right where I'll be planting these. And then as I water, the worm castings will break down over a few months. The soil will break down the worm castings and it'll be available to the corn. Uh, a little bit later down the line when it really needs that nutrients. So there we go. We put our worm castings in and we are going to go ahead and plant our corn. All right, so this is our corn looking amazing, growing beautifully. We're gonna just pop these out. They're in there. Ooh, OMG, look at those roots this corn is no joke these babies are feeders okay so we're just gonna break these apart as gently as possible let me go ahead and tease the bottoms first yeah these definitely needed to be repotted and the only reason why the, why the roots are looking like this is because the weather in texas has been so crazy that it just hasn't been safe to sorry you guys i'm trying to focus and just break these apart as gently as you can i hope that these survive i definitely must separate them But the weather has been so crazy that it just wasn't safe to plant them yet. And then I had planted some corn and I think I told you guys about this. These ones died because the weather was acting crazy and I had to put these in the house and they just didn't adjust. So the rest of them died, but these two survived. So we're gonna plant these. And I'm glad that these are already separated so that I don't have to do much. And look at those roots. Crazy. Crazy. So these are ready to be planted. So I'm gonna plant these, I'm gonna say at least four to five inches apart. Um, I'm gonna put this big one in the center just because, I don't know, it's the biggest one. <laughs> It only seems right. So we're gonna go ahead and place that in there. And with corn, you wanna just plant them up to the original soil line up to here. Don't plant it too far down. 
covering the stem. You don't want to cover the stem too much. So you want to just give it a good press and try to space them at least four to five inches apart. I probably could have got six plants in here, but I didn't have six. So we'll just see how five do. Put this other one right here. Let me see if I can get y'all a little closer in to what I'm doing. I'm just gonna cover that in. Press it in. And that should be good to go. And then I have this last little baby that I'm just gonna plant off to the side. And we'll see how she does. She's gonna need a little more sunshine than the rest. And just press it in. If you have any dying little leaves, you can go ahead and just pull them off. <clears throat> All right, so they're in there nicely planted, ready to go. Um, the last thing that I'm going to do is water them in with, if you don't know by now, Alaskan fish fertilizer. It is a soluble fertilizer, so it will give your plant the nutrients that it needs now. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. This is just one tablespoon of fish fertilizer to a gallon of water. We're just gonna water those in. All right, so to care for your corn, you're gonna want to put these in a full sun location. Corn loves at least six to eight hours of sun, but if you can give them more, that's even better. Um, so yes, put your corn in a full sun location. They will be able to handle the heat. Make sure you keep them watered. I would suggest to fertilize them every 10 to 14 days. And the next video that I come back here with this is going to be part of the series that I'm doing right now showing you how to grow a container garden from seed to harvest so if you're interested in that just subscribe and stay up to date with all the videos that I have to come but I am going to do another video on how to fertilize and how they're growing and things like that so stay tuned for that yeah make sure you keep them watered keep them fertilized and they should do just fine in full sun all right so that wraps up this video if you liked it give me a big thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye royals